Hey everyone, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis. So, wanted to look at the Senate today and the buffs involved in it. Uh, you can get a lot of help from it by purchasing in the game or by rallying monsters. And I'll show you how. If you're going to purchase in the game, please use Aptoid, spend responsibly, get up to 25% discount, promo code Genghis. All of that information is in the description to the video. Now, let's look at the Senate. So, I'm going to kind of ignore the first thing in the Senate, which obviously is uh these stars so if you look here and you see the like who who can do this right so right here almost everybody's gonna just get the four percent marching ground hp um if we i'll try and can i reassign a general here uh let's see if that appears yeah so let's put there you go so if you put a 10 star, if you're one of these players who have extra 10 star generals, okay, you're gonna get all those buffs. But most of us, we're not playing like that. So we're just going to have to put regular generals there. And I believe I had Alessandra there. So we're good to go with that. Anyways, let's get to the important stuff of the buffs. So first thing, promotion. How do we get these guys? We get them, like I said, by spending money, or you can get six every day by defeating monsters, or unknown amount. Let's look at the daily activity in a minute when we look at the other part here. And the other thing we can do is upgrade the positions. And for these, you need Merit Jade, and you can get up to 15 a day by defeating monsters. And then at 80, 20, 80, 110 in the uh activities which is here and let's look at it so 80 you'll get one and five and then at this level you'll get one and five again so it's very slow if you don't spend money uh so how should you prioritize so first thing you should do is look at what's available at the promotion level so this needs 800 right and this is at the governor level. I need 800. It's gonna take a long time. Like I've only bought 199 packs since uh, the update and then uh, they had an attack on some family members and I basically said, screw it. Not gonna be buying for a while. And here, 800 as well, the exact same one. So I'm realistically only gonna be able to do a few of them. So. Let's also look at the martial level, which I will get to soon because I'm going to upgrade my Senate. And how do we upgrade the Senate? I have to do victory column six first. So until I do that, I'm not gonna be getting martial. But again, it's 800 of the exact same items, glory twigs. So realistically, I'm only gonna be able to do a few. So I have to compare these and see which one's most important where I'm gonna use my 800 and the qualification. So to do the first level, all of them are the same in terms of you don't have to upgrade the archers or the siege, you only have to upgrade over here the horse and the or the ground and the archers part, but you got to do 5 of them. And if we look at commander, it's the exact same thing. You got to do 5 each. And over here, five each. So that right there means when we are doing the upgrade positions, we really should focus on these first two, right? Because you want to be able to upgrade the other part. So that's pretty self-explanatory, I think. Like you got to think smart here and play within your means and upgrade what you can. So you're going to get your best benefits if you upgrade the first two to level five each. So now we have to look at which one should I be upgrading. So that's the next thing. So first thing I, I'm going to do is I'm going to look in rally troop HP 10%, enemy ground troop HP 5%. Okay, that's uh, decent. What do I think of the other ones? What will I get here? What's better? In-city ground troop and mounted troop HP, 12%, and in-city siege, 20%. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy if I can upgrade to that. And this one. Attacking range troop and siege machine HP. Okay, th those are pretty good. And marching ground troop attack, 15%. I think staying alive is better. And I think defense has become a really, really big 
theme with this K45 update. All the buffs that are available on Academy, regular Academy, getting up to like regular Academy 39 or 40. Lots of buffs available. Lots of buffs at MA6. And realistically, how many of us are going to get to MA7, 8, 9, 10? Uh, it's going to be difficult, right? So I'm inclined to say that I'm going to benefit more as a player by doing this one. So that means I should upgrade these levels first on the commander position. And just to see the difference here, so this one will give me ground troop and mounted troop attack if I upgrade it to level five. And the ongoing update is marching ground troop HP. And let's look at the horse one. I'll get marching mounted troop defense and ground and mounted troop HP. So if we go over to commander, which is the one I've chosen, I'm gonna get in city ground troop defense by upgrading this or ground and mounted troop HP 4%. I like that better than the defense. And if I look at the horse, I'll get ground and mounted troop HP 4%. I'll also get in city mounted troop attack. I prefer the in-city ground troop defense. And just to look over that one again, marching and marching. So personally, I just think that, I think that's kind of a wash on this, like which one I want, the marching ground to troop attack, but I think in-city ground troop mounted troop HP plus siege machine defense outweighs that because that's actually a few useful things. So I'm going to upgrade here. And I like this one, in-city ground troop defense, so let's upgrade it. The only thing that I do fear here, and um, maybe Ebony has an event in the future that says you get points for upgrading these things. They love to do that. Eh? They like to let you use your... Um, your items right now and then in the future introduce an event remember they did that with feeding dragons they did that with uh blood of heirs they do it with crafting now with for civ gear so i'm actually going to hit cancel here but because i don't want to waste those twigs because now that i think of that on the spot i'm gonna wait a little bit they like to do it so everybody's bought these items and then used them and then they unleash an event like tactic scrolls they did it with that too Right, so I'm gonna wait till I gather a few more of these and then I'm gonna do it, but this is gonna be my path. And I just showed you guys how I laid that out, how I thought about that in uh, looking into the future of how I should upgrade that. But this is the one I'm gonna upgrade first and I'm gonna get these two to five. So right here, these two are gonna be upgraded to five. So I'm gonna put all of my green items there and then that's gonna allow me to complete these prerequisites over here. And then I will automatically get the in-city ground troop mounted troop HP and in-city siege machine defense level one. And I already did look, just another thing that you should look at in these, uh, when you're doing this thought process, look down the line too and see what you want in the future. Like maybe something really good unlocks at level four or five. Um, I already did that and I was looking to see if anything unlocked something like March size and it does not. So I'm good to go with my choice there. And let me know in the comments how, uh, what your strategy is gonna be for the Senate. Is it similar to mine? And uh, obviously if you're a big coiner and you have uh, all these fully ascended generals to spare well uh good for you i hope you i hope we're all on the same team one day anyways like subscribe leave a comment